William Shakespeare. 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 You have not experienced Shakespeare until you have read him in the original Klingon. This is not Shakespeare. Oh, I did Shakespeare in the park, Max. Shakespeare is not easy to read and understand. Students become bored and many simply give up and consider it a waste of time. Others find themselves strongly hating the entire idea of Shakespeare. I don't hate English, I just don't like Shakespeare. But it doesn't have to be this way. Introducing a Shakespearean world, where students can change their appearance and role play, where students can follow the clues and reach the treasure at the end. A fun way to learn, understand, perform and grow to love all things Shakespeare. We have children to build our virtual world around the subject of English literature. In the world, we will provide students with the clothing for their avatars as well as their environments from various stories. For example, Macbeth or a Midsummer Night's Dream. So that they can recreate scenes from the works of literature in an engaging, immersive way. One of the main components of our world will be a treasure hunt mode in which we place students' avatars within the environment from a play and task them with solving riddles given to them from bots we create and place in the world. Students will have the goal of finding objects or locations of significance from the play based on the clues given. The learning space we have chosen to implement this world is Second Life. We have chosen Second Life as it's a free virtual world creation tool that is highly customizable and accessible. Second Life also offers many ways for learners and instructors to communicate with each other. Our target learners will be high school students, specifically grade 10, 11 and 12 students as they study the works of literature from Shakespeare. We believe that the area of English literature is ripe for the implementation of virtual worlds in order to truly engage students. Virtual worlds allow more visible applications of various pedagogies to enhance learning than simply reading and discussing the literature in class would. Our virtual world will be conducive to situated learning by allowing students to dress their avatars in clothing of the time, as well as placing them in a realistic representation of the setting of stories such as Macbeth or A Midsummer Night's Dream. This allows students to better place themselves in the world of the player they're studying. In addition, we are able to provide students with the ability to recreate events of a play in order to practice their recollection. The collaboration and communication involved in the recreation of scenes allows students to have shared experiences which reinforces the learning process. Our virtual world will be conducive to self-learning. Our gamifying treasure hunt component will encourage learners to apply themselves and their knowledge of the play they're studying to the situation and context in order to solve problems and determine where to go next. Finally, we can provide an immersive platform for students and teachers to have virtual lessons within the world. In our virtual world, here are some of the features we will be using from Second Life. Customize the avatars. Students can customize their avatars to dress up like characters from the play. Customize environments. The treasure hunt will take place in an environment from the play, example, 11th century Scotland in Macbeth. Customize bots. Bots will be customized to look like characters from the play. Students will be able to interact with the bots. They will be there to assist students and give out information relating to the play. Special items. Students will be able to walk and move freely through the virtual world and find and interact with special items they come across. Example, opening boxes and picking up special items. And when students answer questions or solve problems, they will be awarded points. Theater. Students can visit theaters where they can reenact plays and have formal meetings with their teachers. Voice features allow students to speak and hear other students in Second Life. Group instant messaging. Students can be a part of group related to a specific play, example Macbeth, so they can easily communicate with each other and work together in solving problems. Second Life contains many easy-to-use menus, buttons, and keyboard shortcuts that will allow the avatars to walk, fly, or teleport to the destination. Our virtual world will also contain landmarks, such as castles, chambers, and forests, thus portraying real-life objects. The treasure hunt will be activity-centered and require learners to use their problem-solving skills. 
When the players approach preset challenges, they get simple instructions and have to answer questions and solve challenges. After successfully solving a challenge, the player will be rewarded with a token. The virtual world will contain easy to understand languages, colorful illustrations that will captivate the imagination of the players and verbal and written instructions to assist them when they require help. The student will be able to interact with bots that will provide them with clues, creating an exciting interactive experience. Players will also be able to interact with characters of Shakespeare's plays such as Hamlet and Romeo and Juliet. There will be an information board which the student will be able to select which will provide feedback. Directional signs and arrows will assist the students with their navigation. For easy navigation, every character will be named for easy identification. There will be instant messaging and chat rooms that students can use to interact with other avatars when help is needed. There will also be documents to provide help to the student.